these men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure with a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. Our hearts are with these five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they knew. So that there was from Sky News just a little bit earlier before the statement by the Coast Guard and the Rear Admiral John Moga, who was the, the person in charge of the search for the Lost Titan submersible. So, yeah, um, as kind of expected, it has all resolved today. Not much to say except, you know, um, rest in peace to those who have died. CEO of Ocean Gate, uh, Stockton Rush. Shazada Dawood, Suleiman Dawood, his son, uh, Hamish Harding, and of course, uh, Paul Henri Norgelet, veteran Titanic explorer. It wasn't unexpected that we got news that they'd passed. Um, I think perhaps there's still some unanswered questions, but a lot has been explained. I suppose the first thing to address, the reports from the previous day about the, um, the supposed banging, possibly in a sign of life, that's almost certainly false now because we know that the submarine well the submersible wreckage was discovered as part of a debris field close but not actually at the titanic wreck so they found um scattered debris identifiable parts which indicates as also kind of surmised in the previous update of an implosion because it was an implosion that makes it almost certainly that this happened the moment the sub went missing on Sunday and that in fact they have not been trapped at the bottom of the ocean waiting for rescue all this time. If it was an implosion due to a failure, which is almost certainly that's happened, that would have happened instantly. There's, there's no slow way about it and there's pretty much nothing a crew inside, trapped inside submersible could have done to cause an implosion itself. As grim as it is to say that the five have actually been deceased this entire time since the disappearance. And you know, now they have found evidence. Um, I imagine they're going to be doing probably an investigation for some time yet, probably collecting most, if not all, the debris with the ROVs and then trying to just piece together what happened. If I was to hazard a guess, I'd say it's almost certainly been a, a failure, either like in the main structure of the hull of the Titan or you know, the viewport, something along those lines. And though, although the Titan has dived down to Titanic numerous times, there's all sorts of stresses and things that could happen. And something that has come about in the recent days is a report of a lot of previous concerns by people involved uh, with Ocean Gate about the safety rating, um, the insurance, uh, how suitable the sub actually was for deaths. And supposedly there was people raising concerns and complaints, saying that it was not suitable and... If that's the case, then it seems those concerns have been borne out. I'm sure there will be other updates in the future, but uh, the main consequence is, as well as the unfortunate lives lost, I think this incident has probably effectively killed any short-term future plans for a further deep-sea tourism like this. Anyway, rest in peace to all those who died, and just, uh, as you feel for their families and friends immensely. In trying to reach the Titanic, trying to see the Titanic wreck itself, they've kind of now become part of its story take that how you will in forms of a legacy but there's more to come there'll be invest there's investigations uh, there's lessons and oh the also wonderful cultural commentary from experts and non-experts alike yeah, thank you for watching and you know it would have been nice to say we wouldn't have expected this outcome but we kind of did as time went on rest in peace and um just all the love and support to the families and friends out there